everybody! So today is going to be a little bit of a different video and probably something that a lot of you might not care for but I'm really excited. So there's a company called Oh Dear who do like, you know, stationery and stuff and they have loads of different artists who, you know, have their work on there and they do this thing called the Paper Gang which is like a subscription box every month and it's like um, one theme and you get loads of, you get a few little stationery goodies but I found out they do a mystery box, which basically is like a box full of mysterious things that you don't know. And I thought, well, I'm buying something on there anyway. Might as well try it out because they were in the sale. So you can get a small, a medium and a large. I got the large one because it was originally meant to be either 50, 52 pounds or 82 pounds. It was originally meant to be something quite high, and it was on sale for 20 I think. And I thought, well, why not? Just try it out. It is very risky, though. And when I was Googling, like, just to see if anyone had used them, I had found no videos, unless I was typing it in wrong. But I thought I would therefore do an unboxing of it to show you out there if you're... If you wanted to use it, because it is quite pricey for a gift, as you don't really know what's in it at all. Um, but I thought I would just try it out. So this is the box for the big one. It is purple, and it comes just in this cardboard box. So I'm just going to get right into it. Also, by the way, I don't know if this is a thing they always do, but um, so I bought a few other bits. And they sent me a free mystery gift. This might be because if you spend a certain amount, but I'll just show you what I got as a mystery gift. So I just got this Christmas card. Hopefully you can see, because the weather is terrible today, so I've had to use my light. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it just has these two ducks on it, and it says Christmas Quackers, which this is the type of thing that I like. And I display cards on my wall and things, so really like that and it also came with this is it washi tape and I think it just has loads of different things on it so it has like happy birthday congratulations pug off um I think I can't remember what else it has on it but just some the washi tape so that's cool I don't know if they're doing that just for now or if they're doing it when you spend a certain amount or I don't know anyway let's get into this because I'm so excited because loads of people out there I think most people are stationery lovers, but there's the few that really love stationery. Like, really love, just love cute things. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So, first thing is a postcard, and it says you should text him, and it just is a glass of wine, um, who looks a bit, mm, a bit drunk. Um, I don't know which artist. Artwork by David Olenik. Olenik? I'll write down the artists on the screen. But yeah, that's cute. A little postcard. I don't know if I'll display him because the colours are quite dark. But I can have him somewhere. You know, he can go somewhere. Um, yeah, that's the first thing. <gasps> yes, there's some Gemma. Gemma Corral, is that her name? Oh, I love Gemma. Corel. I, oh, her drawing's just, just good. I don't know, I have got some Gemma Corel stuff and I can't remember what it is. It's something, but I have three cards. So one is the nope one. I ho hopefully, I've got my glasses on now so I can see. I'm going to leave these on so I can see if you can see. <laughs> so yeah, it's just the girl lying on the floor and it's like, nope. Um, cute. And then there's the cab hook, cap, I can't say it, cab hookchino, so it's a cappuccino cup with a pug in it. These are like the famous Gemma Corel things. And then this one, which I haven't seen before, uh, it says Middle Age Mutant Ninja Turtles. It says, how's the old ticker Mike? Not great, Ralph Doc says I need to cut down on the pizza. Because <laughs> they like pizza, so... There's that one, that's cute. We also have another card where, oh that's funny. This is artwork by Megan Davis and it's very simplistic, um, has a cliff 
and there's a teeny little poke Pokemon ball at the bottom and the person says did you catch it? Nope. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that one. Next is this planner and this is by Arden Rose and it's very kind of dark toned. I don't know how I feel about dark toned prints. Like I like them but half of me is like hmm. But yeah it's just this planner. It's purpley pinky. It's kind of a Ooh, it's like a not material I don't really know what the texture is it's not you know not a normal book feel it's quite nice oh it has orange inside but yeah it's just this nice kind of dark flower and leaf print and it just has a little planet written in white and inside it just has every page is the same so it has the date and the month has the notes the to do uh, you know if you've done it and doodles this is actually going to be quite handy because I sometimes do make one most of the times I have a day off oh and it has a little page separator so you know what page you're on so that's cool another thing I've seen oh is another Gemma Corral thing and these are three set of iron on woven patches that's cool. I was actually looking at these on the website. I kind of like these, but I don't know if I would... Because can you remove them? we try and get them out. They're all kind of pug related, I think. So we have a little pug dressed as a mermaid. Which is cute. Another... Oh, it's, it's a skull that's made out of a pug. That's kind of like trying to be all punky, but with a pug. Punk pug. <laughs> That's that one. And then this is the heart with a little cat on top. And it says, I hate you the least. Cute. They're really cool. Hopefully you can see all of them. Next we have this as uh, a notebook. Again, it's by Arden Rose. And, oh, it's just a simple, plain kind of notebook. It has these really cute illustrations of, you know, pens, pencil sharpeners, paper clips. So it also has this nice kind of greeny block print there. And inside it literally is just a notebook. But it has, um, the lines are like not a solid line. They're kind of broken up. They're a little bit dotted. That's cool. Makes your eyes go a bit funny, but that's cool. And it's like a floppy, a floppy one. So that's sweet. Oh, we have three more things left. So this is some wrapping paper. Okay. How much wrapping paper? Oh, wow. Ooh. So it's this, I like this kind of illustration again, this type of illustration. And it's just loads and loads of watermelons. And everybody loves a good watermelon drawing. Same with they lo everyone loves avocado drawings, cactus drawings, and watermelons. Yes. But, that's cool. I don't know who the- oh, can I fold this back up? Oh no, what have I- oh no. Oh, I can't fold it back up. But this is artwork by Vicky Bloomfield. And it is 100% recyclable, so that's cool. Christmas is coming up, as we all know. Second to last thing is there is some pencils. These, I think they're just from o they're just by Odia, and they are kind of these colour colour block pencils. We have black rubbers, which is interesting. But yeah, that's kind of cool. And then the final thing. Oh my god, what is this? It's by Gemma Corral again. It's a cut and sew your own pug. Say what? You can just see this cute little pug's face. It's a, ta I think it's a towel. Put along the dotted lines with the printed sides facing each other. Sew along the edge, leaving a small gap. Turn your pug inside out. Stuff him with a filling of your choice. Oh, so... It's a towel, but is it, is it a cushion at the same time? I don't know. 
let's have a look. This is cool. I've never seen this before. It's very Jebba Corral based, which, like, I don't know how they, do they swap the boxes every single month or, because it, I can't imagine everybody would love Jebba Corral style. I do, of course. Oh, that is, that could, you could just leave this as a towel to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so it's this nice, quite, it's quite nice fabric really. Um, and there's the pug. There's the lines you cut around, the instructions, and the back of the pug. So you probably could just leave this as it is if you really wanted to, which is kind of cute because it has this little, you know, little thing to say how to wash it and stuff. That is so cute! Oh my god! I kind of like that, that's kind of sweet. A good Christmas activity to do. So that's the box empty. Woo! It's another thing to say what thing everything was or how much it was, which normally these things have. But that is so cute. So you get eleven things, which is quite good. Um, and I know that planners and things like this do kind of cost a lot. So that's pretty cool. So that is the end of the unboxing. I will link down the mystery boxes down below. Hopefully when this is uploaded they might still have them on sale I don't know when I'm uploading this video so that's the end of the video I'm also going to show you what else I got from Odia just in case you are interested because um, some of them are quite cute so I got these boozy brussels they're basically chocolate brussels sprouts filled with craft gin so they're you know just little chocolates that are meant to look like brussels sprouts I got this for my brother for Christmas um, oh, they're gin and caramel. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so I just thought that would be cool for my brother. And then I also got these little, I think they're called postcards. I don't really know. And they are, I swear they're from John, John Bond, who I already have illustrations from, and I love John Bond. So he has one for every single letter of the alphabet, and I got A M Y to spell my name. But it just has the letter in the middle and then it just has things around it that have things beginning with A. So this one has an angle grinder, Arnold, which I think is from a show, Anus, Anteater and Atticus Finch. Is that from Harry Potter? Atticus Finch. I don't know, but they just look really cute and the illustrations are quite childish. Which I kind of like. I love John Bond things. Um, he's really cool. So I got the A. And then I got the M. Uh, it has a mouse. Magnus 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 Magnuson. Megatron. Morris Dancer. And Monkey. Oh that's so cute. Very sweet. And then the Y has something I do not know how it's pronounced. A Yak. Yoda. Yak Z Yak Zuah, I don't know. Uh, yogurt, Yogi Bear, and York Peppermint Patty. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So they're really like kind of childish, you know, illustrations. And they are postcards, so you can send them. Um, but I'm going to put them on my wall. I feel like a really, like, this is like a really childish thing to do to get your name in things. But I'm going to put them on my wall somewhere. And they're really cute. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were like 70 P each maybe um but they're really sweet and love it and that's everything so I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit random but I kind of just wanted to do it so then if someone who is thinking of buying a mystery box hello um they know kind of what to expect kind of and if it's worth your money so I hope you enjoyed this video um I hope you're having a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video